in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. You want a new release? You got new release. This fragrance is absolutely erotic, sexy, thick, bold, masculine as fuck. I don't have a full bottle. This is a decan. Shout out to Alpha Fragrances for blessing the kid with this decan. And let's roll my motherfucking music so y'all can listen to what I got to say about this fucking bomb. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. You ask and I provide. Y'all motherfuckers have been asking me to review this joint since it is a newer release for 2018. And y'all was like, yo, cool, we need to know from your amazing nostrils if this shit is a dud or it's a motherfucking stud. And the fragrance that we are gonna be talking about today is none other than Tom Ford's Ombre Leather 18. Yo. I just need to say one thing right now before we start reviewing these fragrances. I suggest some of y'all motherfuckers will get your cowboy boots and put them on. With the spurs, assless chaps, cowboy hat. Make sure you drench yourself in baby oil so you got that sweaty glistening look. Because the masculinity coming out of this shit is... Whoa! This motherfucker right here is sexy. Leather, leather, leather. For me is leather and suede combination with very light fruitiness, beautiful, rich, robust amber, and a little nuttiness. Not like nut, but like, you know, peanuts. You need to have at least a significant chest hair patch, aye? A handlebar mustache or a man beard like this to rock this motherfucker. You not coming out all sexy, clean shaven, Hair slicked back with bifocals and a pocket square with pens sticking out. We not doing that. You can't live that life when you're wearing ombre leather by Tom Ford. Ombre leather 18 to be exact. One thing I gotta say about this fragrance on the initial opening, it's kind of funny because Tom Ford Tuscan leather is known to have that bittersweet raspberry fruity opening. However, this doesn't indicate any of that sort on the opening, yet I still get a little light sweetness, which is kind of bugged out. It might be coming from the amber, I don't know, but you have leather and suede. Obviously, suede is a type of leather, but you know, I am not a fabric connoisseur, so I know dick. I've had leather jackets, I've had suede jackets, and they both have two distinct different smells. Now, this is exactly that, that's what I get. Laid, uh, <laughs> laid, <laughs> leather, Suede, a little bit of ashiness, amber, sweetness, and nuttiness. Very masculine. I don't know if this is gonna be mass appealing, but it's definitely big chest burly. I just did three reps of 40 on 235 and my chest is poking out, you know what I'm saying? This shit is fire. Fire. Now, if you really want to start a little pettiness, and I know 99% of you are going to ask this question. Cuba, which one should we get? Tuscan leather or ombre leather 18, bro? Let's start the pettiness. We got Tuscan leather over here, ombre leather 18 over here. Now, Tuscan leather is no motherfucking slouch by any means. But to be frank with you, it works to my nose ass backwards. What I mean by that is, the opening of Tuscan leather sounds like the note breakdown for ombre leather 18. And the opening of Lombre Leather 18 smells like what the notes of Tuscan leather should smell like in the opening. It's fucking confusing as hell. But on the dry down, yes, they all hit their respective notes as they're laid out. But these two, head to head, definitely deserve a space on the mantle, both equally next to each other. The only difference between these two, in my personal opinion, as far as what's better or worse, is that I feel like the longevity is a little bit better on the Tuscan leather than ombre leather on my skin. Now, obviously they're both leather-based fragrances, so they both have some similarities, but they're not the same fragrance at all. This is definitely bittersweet on the dry down. It has all the note breakdown exactly how I see it. Leather, kind of bittersweet, 
cardamom, and patchouli. Dope. This one is suede leather nuttiness. In the dry down, that fruitiness that I get from the opening is completely gone ape shit. It just sticks leather, suede, patchouli, amber, and nuttiness. They're both ridiculously awesome. But this one lasts a little bit longer on my skin than the Ombre Leather 18. Now, does this mean that this is a fucking slouch? This ain't no motherfucking slouch, my G. This shit is in. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna get a full bottle of this because it's that lit. If you love this one, you're gonna love this one just as much. If you wanna be masculine, if you wanna wear leather, if you wanna be bare chested with assless chaps, cowboy boots, a hat, riding on the back of the horse, that's disturbing. But that's your flow, fuck it. No judgments here, but I'm judging you subliminally. Ombre leather, is this shit a ball sprayer? Fuck yeah. Hold up. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> I wanna be raunchy, let's layer my nuts with a little bit of Tuscan leather too. Mm -mm. Woo! Like a round stone cowboy. I only ride female horses, I just wanna let you know that right now. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these leathery ass nuts. I'll see y'all bitches next time, you know who it is, it's the dawn of this shit. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, roller, start tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>